Hello, everybody. Welcome to yet another edition of Paradigm Shift, an educational comedy. And I just want to read you a journal post right quick. This isn't going to be too horribly long. Short true story. A teacher learns a lesson. This actually happened. A school teacher posted on social media about her desire to ban the Confederate flag because supposedly it is a symbol of racism and intolerance. A former student of hers saw the post and he had this to say to her. This may not at first seem to have anything to do with the current topic, but it does. Your patience is appreciated. Horace Mann, former U.S. Congressman, was instrumental in the creation of the current American educational system. This system was based on the Prussian educational system. In 1837, he became the head of the then newly created Board of Education. His work earned him the title of the father of American public education. His new concept that the state is the father of all children, which is responsible for the education of every child, was a very noble idea. But what exactly did he mean by this? I'll explain. After the Prussians were defeated by Napoleon in 1806, it was decided that the Prussian soldiers were thinking for themselves in the battlefield instead of following orders. To make sure that this couldn't happen again, a new eight-year system of schooling was created, this being our current elementary school system. The system was based on unquestioned obedience to authority. Though this new system, <coughs> excuse me, through this new system, the Prussian system aimed to create social obedience through indoctrination. Every individual had to become convinced at the core of their being that the king was just, his decisions were always right, and the need for obedience paramount. In truth, the entire system was to instill loyalty to the crown and to train young men for the military, bureaucracy, and the workforce. To do this, the elimination of critical thinking from the masses was mandatory. The father of the Prussian system was a man by the name of Johann Gottlieb Fitch. His ideology was that children are a blank slate to be written upon. The system was established as a system that was considered to be scientific in nature. The importance of the system was that it defined for the child what was to be learned what was to be thought about, and how long to think about it. It was believed that in order for government to rule its people efficiently, the people's ability to make sense out of available information needed to be removed. Critical thinking was an enemy of this new system. The reason that our current system does not openly admit to being based upon the Prussian model is because its original purpose was not designed for the good of the individual, but for the good of the government. Fitz states, the school must fashion the person and fashion him in such a way that he simply cannot will otherwise than what you wish him to will. With quotes like these, we can see why his involvement is not well known. Fitch continues, Education should aim at destroying free will, so that after the pupils are schooled, they will be incapable throughout the rest of their lives of thinking or acting otherwise than as their schoolmasters would have wished. When this technique has been perfected, every government that has been in charge of education for more than one generation will be able to control its subjects securely with little need of armies or policemen. Johann gave a series of addresses to the German nation, which were anti-Semitic 
and demanded the removal of all Jews from Germany. He spoke about the superiority of the German people above all others. Fitch had a deep influence on the rise of the Third Reich, and the Prussian system was used by Hitler to facilitate his rise to power over a people that were already indoctrinated into blind obedience to authority. This is the system we currently use here now in the United States, and Common Core is an extension of that system. So in my opinion, getting rid of a treasonous educational system based on neo-Nazism is more important than an uninformed opinion about a flag, which for Southerners of all creeds and colors stands for Southern pride and not bigotry. The moral of this story? Get your fucking priorities straight. Okay, so before I end this, I'm going to answer the obvious questions. <clears throat> and clear my throat here. Question number one. So Dave, I'd really love to see the original message thread. Have a link? No, I don't because of privacy settings on the original post and there's nothing I can do about that. Question number two. How do you know that this actually happened well because i witnessed it actually happen that's how okay dave you witnessed it were you the former student in question nope i wasn't there's definitely a few teachers that i've had that i would have loved to freaking own in this sort of way but nope wasn't me wasn't my teacher unfortunately would have been nice but wasn't sorry the next question being, so Dave, is this information a joke? Is he just trolling her? Or is this historically accurate? Answer, I've done lots of research on this myself. Yes, it's historically accurate. So Dave, does this mean that unbeknownst to us, we've all been taught to think like Nazis? Short one word answer, yes. So, with all of that said, if you like this video, then of course there's lots more videos on my YouTube channel, PSEC Documentary. So please subscribe, that would be awesome. Would definitely appreciate that. You know, like, comment, fave, share, that sort of thing. And, um, if you would share this video on social media, I think you'd definitely do, be doing a service to humanity. Because, um, yeah, this information is kind of important. I mean, yeah, it's, it's funny that, like, an elementary school teacher got her ass owned. But it is, I think, also important information. Because um, people really need to know how badly they've been screwed with and why. So, of course... This leads to the very last question. Well, Dave, now wait a minute. If all of our heads have been screwed with and programmed in this way, how can we learn discernment and critical thinking? How can we learn to understand that information that they've made it so that, you know, when we view information, it's all confounded and confused because our critical thinking skills and discernment has been stripped how do we get it back? Well, that's easy. By easy, I don't mean one, two, three, boom, done. I just mean look into it, read into it, do the research like I have, and you'll start to understand. And you know the old uh, saying from the G.I. Joe cartoon series, knowing is half the battle? Well, it truly is. And of course, I've got a lot of other videos on my YouTube channel that, you know, go into what I refer to as the societal trap or the societal meme or, you know, number, whatever you want to call it. I've used a bunch of different terms for it. There's a bunch of different terms out, out there. Um, <clears throat> but it's just really about an understanding, gaining an understanding of how psychology and emotions work. Because once you gain that understanding, you can kind of become your own therapist in a sense and kind of start shaking loose, um, you know, all this bullshit, I kind of, you know, 
dealing with your demons and, and facing your shit, as I like to say. So, yeah. Um, my channel is definitely there to help you with that. There's tons of, of different videos on that. Because there's so many different subjects that fall into this. So many different categories. Political, religious, um, spiritual, metaphysical, science, psychology, biology, neurology. There's so many ingredients that go into this one big cake. And um, we cover as much as we can on PSAC, which stands for Paradigm Shift and Educational Comedy, of course. But um, we cover as much as we can. So... You know, feel free to check out the channel, subscribe, um, go through the videos. There's a freaking lot there. So, yeah, it's not like you're going to be able to go through it, one, two, three, boom, done. But, um, you know, kind of enjoy the journey. You know, kind of uh, view it in the sense of, oh, I was blind, but now I can see. Yay, appreciation. I can see now. Not like, oh, my God, oh, woe is me. I'm going to feel so guilty for having had the wool pulled over my eyes, and I'm going to go into shame and blame. And ah. No, that's, that's kind of what they want you to do. That's that mental, emotional freaking prison that, you know, that they put up around you to go immediately into guilt, immediately into shame, immediately into hopelessness. That's what you've been trained to do. So I would suggest seeing this negative situation as a positive opportunity to create positive change, see it as an adventure, be kind of the Indiana Jones to your own life, so to speak, or Han Solo if you'd prefer, whatever. Um, so yeah, um, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and hope you all have a really great day, evening, night, morning, whatever it is in your corner of this blue and green ball that we call Earth. Have a good one. Catch you later. Peace out.